Hey guys, welcome to DesLogic. Uh, this is the fourth video of the playlist that I've created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, uh, I will try to uh, discuss the direct selection tool. In the previous video, we have discussed the simple selection tool. The direct selection tool will give you uh, some other options that selection tool will not. The direct selection tool uh, is uh, basically uh, used to edit specific points and anchor points uh, of a shape, text or any other uh, drawing that you have drawn on your uh, artwork. So, uh, so for an example, I have created these three uh, objects. Uh, the first one, the square, second one is the text, and third one is the uh, pen tool drawing. So to elaborate the direct selection tool, I have created three objects, as you can see on my artboard. The first one is the square, second one is the text, and the third one is the pen tool drawing. So let's start with the square. Uh, make sure you have selected the direct selection uh, on the toolbar I have already selected. So if I tap on the uh, shape, so as you can see there are some couple of options and there are some small circles near the corners of the square. You can uh, select one of the corner as I am doing as you can see. If you want to edit any corner that you want or if you want to change the overall shape of the square you can select all of them and just tap on one of the small circle and drag you can see that the shape is now changing so if you want to change a specific corner uh, you have to select it and then that small circle appears for that specific corner and you tap on that circle and drag as you can see that the corner that we have selected is now rounded. So there are some other options. I will discuss this in a few seconds. So the next object that I have placed in my artboard is the text. So in order to understand the functionality of a direct selection tool, you have to convert this text into outline text. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, just select the uh, text with the simple selection tool and now tap on this T icon on the right side in the panel section and here you will see outline text. So tap on it and now this text is converted into outline text. So now you can edit this text on the basis of the anchor points. If you want a specific uh, editing in your text, you can do that now. So for example, uh, with the direct selection tool selected, uh, you can select the whole text or you can select the specific anchor point. For example, this one and just drag it and you can see that you can change the uh, shape of the O in the hello. So you can edit the text um, with respect to your likeness. Um, so the next one is the uh, pen tool drawing that I have placed in the artwork. Uh, the third one, so let's select it. As you can see there are some, uh, there are three anchor points. So you can select all of them or you can select a specific uh, anchor point to edit the position like that and uh, you can also change the angle of your shape by dragging these handles okay so now there are some couple of options that we haven't discussed before so I want to discuss them uh, now uh, the first option is the scissor tool. Uh, if you want to uh, divide this drawing on the basis of the anchor points, uh, you can select the 
shape as a whole and now you can tap on this scissor icon and now when you select it this shape is divided into two on the basis of the middle anchor point so now this one is a separate shape and this one is a separate shape uh, if you want to uh, make them uh, joined again uh, there is a fourth option from the left just tap on it and now this shape is again joined so the next option that I want to discuss is the um, curve tool uh, for example if you have selected this anchor point uh, this anchor point doesn't have the curve specification in it and it is a you know cornered anchor point so if you want to convert it into curve one you you have to just tap on this curve icon and now you will see the handles to change the uh, shape of this line as per your need so the next option is like the inverse of this uh, curve tool if you want to convert this anchor point that we have converted to uh, the curve one uh, you can tap on this corner tool and you will see that those handles are now gone so this anchor point is now cornered okay so the fourth tool we have already discussed that it is used to join two separate uh, shapes the next one is the path simplified as I have tapped on this option you can see that the middle anchor point is now gone this option basically on the basis of necessity uh, reduce the anchor points as you can see the shape is not disturbed because that anchor point was not necessary for the shape so application decides this by itself so it is now simplified and you have to just edit and uh, pay attention to only two anchor points at this stage the next option is the cross tool uh, if you have uh, if you want to delete or if you want to remove any of the anchor points in a shape just simply tap on this cross icon and now that anchor point is gone the next option is the bin tool as you probably know that if you tap on it the selected anchor points will be removed like that so guys that's it for today i hope you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one